the 2023 Gravely ZTX48. Hey guys, Josh with Carl's Mower and Saw, and we've taken a couple of quick peeks at the new ZTX, ZTXL lineup, but today we're gonna take a little deeper look at some of the things. I haven't learned all of the things myself, so let's kind of go around front to back and see what's unique or what's different about it versus last year, the improvements that we see coming from it. So we'll just start right on the front end. We have a whole new look. How do you like it? This is what today's industrial design engineers have, have, have picked up on as the trend. You know, we've kind of got this, this kind of forward prowl look. If you, I mean, you look, these headlights kind of look like they're coming down. We've, we've slendered things up. We don't have fenders. Good or bad, I don't know. I, I really don't think I'm gonna be throwing rooster tails of mud when I'm mowing lawn. So I don't think that's a big deal, um, but it's, it's a different look, it's a unique look. I kinda like it. it, takes me a bit to change sometimes. But what I really do like is some of the design improvements. So that's really what matters, right? Just that, like, yeah, we want it to look good, we want it to look sexy, but is it worth a crap? And it's worth a crap. So let's look at some of the things that they've changed and just starting at the front end, this is a small thing. We've got a grip for a step for entry onto the mower. Some people like to get on the mower right on the front, boom, done. We also, on the side, have a foot step that's grippy so I can get on the mower. That's cool, that's a nice little change. I know it's small, but we've integrated headlights into the design now. Honestly, the front wheel tire size has stayed the same. The bearing size has stayed the same. We do have some redesign of the frame um, that has really beefed it up in a few certain areas. I love the fact that it is now one piece from front to back. The old series, it was a bolted on kind of front axle, front end assembly. So, so that's a good setup there. Looking at the mower deck, I don't know if we can get low enough. We've actually gone to a slightly deeper mower deck. We've added a half inch of depth. That's gonna be better for airflow, for, for grass moving out. And we've kicked out the front nose of the mower deck slightly for that grass to have more room to stand up and be cut clean and just discharged out. So that, that front end deck design is a good thing. You'll notice this foot control lever. This is something we've had on the ZTX, ZTXL for a long time but we did not have the pin for drop and height. We actually had this dial over here on the side and that worked, but this is, this is ultimately is a much better, more fail safe design. So we are ranging now from an inch and a half to four and a half inch in quarter inch increments. We set the pin where we want. It's magnetic. So it just drops in and holds in and then it will drop down to the height of cut position that you like. Under, under my feet, I have this little storage cubby. I don't know what I'm gonna store in there. I, I, I really don't, maybe some pruners. But if we take that out, we do have access to the top of the mower deck. Uh, and although it's not a large window, it is an easy window to access. So when it does come time to replace or change a deck belt, it's gonna be a simpler uh, thing to do. So. That's a good move, I like it. They're, they've thought these things through from an engineering standpoint and said, how can we change and keep improving this mower? We've now caged our deck rollers, so it's, they're held on both sides. Before we had just a, a bolt with the wheel hanging out, less likely to bend or break, just a much uh, more durable, heavy duty design. Uh, and the roller size has increased to match that of the HD, the next series up. The whole deck suspension system has changed. And that's a little bit harder to explain, but I have one arm coming down right here and as well as one arm on the other side. Uh, fairly large diameter and quick adjust so I can change the rake and the pitch of the mower deck. And then on the back we have one on each side with again some incremental changes for us to do some leveling to that. I don't know, is this a big thing? A scuff, a wear guard? I guess it does protect the metal. So if I'm going up against a curb, that's, that's not a bad thing. Let's move straight up from there. Our handles now are integrated into our parking brake. So when I move this out, I actually engage the parking brake. So just one step in a direction to make it a, a quicker, easier on-off, simpler to use system. 
And then we have this little wing knob here, wing nut, wing knob, that allows us to completely change the handles to match operator height as well as kind of a, you know, how far in between the, the levers in my, my belly that I want to have room for. So quick, there's my height I want and I want a little bit of a tilt out like that. That's a nice, easy change, something simple. A little more aggressive tires. This is something people have been looking for as they get into a mower that's built a little better. They find their sel themselves out on the back 40 of the property, cutting, up, cutting in some nastier conditions, and they need a little bit more traction and flotation. So that's a good thing. I can charge my cell phone. At, that's where it's at. I mean, to me, guys, this is, this is where we knocked it out of the park. Not only with our standard USB, do we have a USB-C on there? Oh my goodness, this must be 2023. I can charge my Apple and Android devices easily. Okay, really? But we need to have it. It's the world we live in and we cannot live without our electronic devices, so keep them charged up. Obviously, we're gonna stick with the Kawasaki engine. This is, this is proven, it's good. We have no reason to change away from that. Coming forward, just cleaned up the whole look. Our fuse box, all of our electrical wiring is just placed nice and beautifully in front of the uh, engine. And then beyond that, we have our battery down here fit in with the fuel tank that's under the seat to um, really spread that center of gravity out and keep your weight low. Adjustable seat forward and, forward and backwards. Got a seat stop so you can hang it there. I like it. I really, I really like the back end of this thing. It looks good. Sides, not 100% sold on. From the front, it's a good looking machine. Before we stop our tour, before we stop our go around, just looking at this dash panel, just kind of laid it out a little bit better with, uh, hey, this is, this is idle on the throttle and, and you should be cutting at full speed. We've got a choke, it says cold start choke, so just trying to make it a little easier. Electric PTO clutch, we've gone from a, an Ogura clutch to a Warner clutch. In my opinion, somebody who's been in this industry for way too long now, I love the Warner clutch. I think it's a more durable, uh, longer life clutch than the Ogura. So there we go, the Gravely ZTX48. I think I'll learn more about this. I know I will learn more about this as we move forward and, I, and we'll, we'll revisit it and give you kind of the goods and the bads, the pros and the cons, what we're seeing and how it's working in the field. In fact, in the next month, I will get out and I will make some serious cutting with this. We'll do a video with it, doing some cuts and, and get some first impressions on the cuts. Thanks for checking it out. Stopping in, trusting Carl's Mower and Saw as your source uh, for knowledge and information on outdoor power equipment.